everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I've been gone for so long. As many of you may know, I had a little baby boy four and a half months ago. So that's where I've been. Uh, I've kind of been living the mom life and putting that first. But now that my son is kind of going to sleep now at a certain time and I kind of have a schedule, I can start doing videos again. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. As you saw in the title of this video, it's about the Clarisonic foundation brush. So on any of your Clarisonics, your Clarisonic uh, Mia, your Clarisonic Mia 2, and I think there's two other more, I can't remember what they're called, but they all can be attached to this. So you just take off your cleansing um, brush and you clip on this. So if you wanna see how this works, keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. So the Sonic foundation brush comes in a box like this. So I'm super interested to see if this works good. This is what it looks like. They say you can clean it with brush cleaner as well as you can clean it under your sink um, and get it a deep clean. So I already have my serum, my moisturizer, and my eye cream on as well as I have my primer on. I'm using the Benefit Porefessional Primer. So I'm mixing two foundations today. I'm mixing the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation as well as the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. The reason why I'm mixing the two is I kind of like mixing a long wearing matte foundation with a dewy foundation. As well as I needed to mix colors because I'm kind of in between shades. You put the Clarisonic on and you use circular motions into your skin really lightly. So I say not to put the foundation right on the brush, just to put it on your skin. Now my face is lighter than the rest of my body because I wear sunscreen all the time. So it's gonna match my neck, but not my face. So I'm just gonna start on this one side. I probably put a little bit too much. Okay, so let's try it out. So they say that it's supposed to be really good with not settling to your fine lines. And I'm being very light handed. I'm really liking this so far. So we're gonna try out contouring with this as well. Um, blending out cream contour. I know, I know, it looks like I'm wearing too dark of a foundation, but I promise you, it matches my neck. So I'm just adding wherever I think I need a little bit more coverage. This really does blend right into your skin. So it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation or the foundation isn't sitting right on top. I'm really impressed with that. It really blends it right into the skin. I'm gonna use a Becca Low Light Sculpting Perfector for my contour. So I drew the contour. Let's test it out. So I'm just going back and forth in circular motions. Like I'm, I'm really loving this. You guys, are you seeing how fast that's blending it away? That is crazy. Now I'm going, moving on to under my lip and you know that makes your lips look a little bit bigger. On my forehead, getting a little more product, warming up from the back of my hand. I'm like really impressed with this, you guys. I think you need to go out and buy it. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts are, I absolutely think it's worth the money. It is $39 Canadian. I don't know what that is US. Um, but I bought it at Sephora. I really like it because I like airbrush makeup and I find airbrush looks very flawless. And I find you get the same sort of effect in airbrush finish. It works into the skin a lot better than any makeup like kabuki brush or foundation brush I find. That's why I like the beauty blenders because it really does bounce it into your skin. That's why this works so good because it pulsates and it works the foundation into your skin. Uh, yeah, I gave it a two thumbs up. I totally recommend it. Um, for a pro makeup artist, like for us in your kit, I don't think you would use it much because you need a lot of these brush heads or else you'd have to clean them in between. And then plus this is so bulky, this part is so bulky to lug around and you have to charge it. So I don't really think that it would be good for a pro standpoint, but for a personal use, I totally recommend it and I'm definitely gonna be using it. And like I said, not on my clients, just on myself. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook. That'll be in the description bar below. On my Instagram, once I hit 2000 followers, I'll be doing a giveaway. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.